Hi everyone! So, today my first grade crew, we are going to make our own Larry the Snakes. You are going to have lots of colored paper at your table. You should have three of these and they will have your name on it. You will have a baggie in that baggie if you open it up you will have a sharpie you will have an oval and three red pieces of paper these can stay in your baggie for now because you will not need them until you are done putting your stick together. Let me show you how we're going to do this together. Hi artists, so you are going to flip over your paper so the colorful side is facing down. So the back of your paper is facing up, the side that has your name. You are going to take your oval and your Sharpie and your oval is going to go at the end of your paper. Try to get it as much in the middle as you can. With your Sharpie, you are going to trace around your oval. With one hand, hold down your oval and you're going to Put the Sharpie as close to the edge of the oval as you can. And you are gonna go around and around. So the oval is now drawn onto your paper. The next step is you're gonna think about the lines that we learned today. And you are going to, from the middle of your oval to the other end of the paper, draw that line. I am going to draw, ooh, I think a wavy line to the end of the paper. It's okay if your paper is a little dirty. It's great because it is on the back. So no one will see the dirty side. So if you also make an oops, that's okay. No one's going to see it. Start from the end of my oval. And I'm going to make a kind of big, nice and spaced out wavy line until I get to the end of my paper. Now pretend that this line is chilly. It's cold. It's getting cold out now that fall is on its way. We need to give it a jacket. So on either side of my line, I'm going to give it two sides to make its jacket. Like how when we wrap a jacket around ourselves, and it's gonna be us wrapping a line, two lines around our middle line. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna start from the end of my oval, go a little bit spaced out. Maybe let's say ooh, two to three fingers. And I am going to just go next to my other line. They're not going to cross over each other. I'm just going to follow it. And when I get to the end here, I'm going to touch my line to the middle line to make a point. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And again, remember, if you make an oops, that's okay. Whereas now that when I have this all drawn out, I can now get out my trusty scissors. Make sure to put your cap back onto your marker so it doesn't dry out and so you don't lose it. Put it just back in your bag. With your scissors, you are going to now cut out your snake. The thing is, you might notice my scissors look a little different. That's because I have bigger scissors because I have bigger hands. My thumb is always going to be facing upwards 
and my hands are always going to be down. When I cut out my paper, I'm going to enter from the side and I'm gonna turn the paper, not necessarily turn my hand. So watch what I mean when I say that. My hand's kind of still facing forward. The scissors never point towards myself because that's unsafe. Or it's going to be pointing forward. And I'm turning my paper with this hand to cut it out. If you don't cut it perfectly, don't stress, just try your best. And you can see the reason why we spaced out our wavy line or zigzag line or straight line, whatever line you did, the reason why we spaced it out was because it makes it easier for us to cut it out. And when I flip it over, I have my snake. Oh, so pretty. I love all the purples and the blues. There's a little bit of reddish pink popping out. But it's so pretty, I don't want to lose it. I want to make sure I can keep it nice and safe. And I might, um, I might not know which one is mine because now my name, Miss Han, has been cut off my snake. So the easy thing we can do is make sure it's on the back. You're going to flip over snake and you are going to just write your name on it again. Easy peasy. My friends, you can put the scraps aside. You'll throw them away when we clean up. You are going to uh, make two more of these. So you should have three snakes overall. During this time, you can now take out your red pieces. These are going to be your snake's tongue. Now, my friends, if you don't want each one of your snakes to have a tongue, that's okay. I just encourage you to have at least one snake have a tongue. And you are going to cut that out again. With your trusty glue stick from your toolbox, you're going to glue your tongue to your snake. Now, if you look closely, my artist, I have some marker lines on here. I personally do not want those to show, so I'm gonna flip over my snake's tongue. So when I glue it on, the marker lines aren't showing. You'll notice that the tongue is very long probably too long for my snake that is so when i add glue to the edge of my snake's tongue i can glue it farther down so it sticks out less but stays on nice and strong so let me show you what i mean my glue is not too high and it's not too low, it's just right. Because I don't need a lot. A little glow goes a long way. Count five. One, two, three, four, five. Flip it over. And there is my first snake. When you have all three of your snakes done, I would encourage you to do different lines. Some of your snakes, you could do zigzag lines with angles instead of curves. You could do straight lines. You could even try to do some spiral snakes if you would like to try that. When you're all done with all three of your snakes, one, two, three, you can show me a quiet hand in the ear and I will come over and I'll bring you two googly eyes for us to glue on. 
make sure that everything is nicely put back with the cap on so nothing dries out. I will come on over and we'll glue on those googly eyes artists. I just love googly eyes. I think they're oh so funny. And we're going to make silly snakes because our Larry the line snake that we met, he was oh so silly. Super job on listening and following along. All your paper scraps will go in the garbage when it is time to clean up. We know that when we are getting cleaned up, that we still need to be protective of our space. Because right now in school, we're making sure more than ever to keep our own safe space. Tomorrow is when you go up to throw these away, keep them all closed, put them in a little pile at your table. And when you have your chair pushed in and you're standing nice and tall, the first tables I call to line up will take these scraps and they will throw them in the garbage and then line up at the door for the hall. So do not throw these away after I ring my bell. You will throw them away when you get up to line up and I will call you by your table. Artist, super job. I cannot wait to see what you make and all the fun Larry the Line snakes that we will have.